What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Kangaroo Black, coming back once again to talk about my Alabama Crimson Tide and former running back Damian Harris and his comments uh, on Josh Chapman, an Alabama staffer who walked into Neyland Stadium with a cigar in his mouth before the game. Now, you know that's not the way to do things. You know that premature celebration, as Damon and Harris called it. But anyway, Alabama, well, matter of fact, Damian Harris uh, was really vocal about the, the, the Malachi Moore situation, too. Uh, and guess what? He didn't have good things to say about that either. Damian Harris, former running back, so you know he loved our Alabama Crimson Tide. And he was one of the guys that upheld the standard when Nick Saban was there. Josh Chapman, he's a former player for Alabama, two-time national champion, 2009-2011 for our Alabama Crimson Tide. And yes, he played for Nick Saban, so he know that's not the way it is. Nick Saban didn't teach him that way. But guess what? Nick Saban is no longer there. Now, Josh Chapman, he's the director of player uh, development for Alabama right now. So, But like I said, he know the standard. He played for Nick Saban, and he played with Nick Saban was the hard-nosed coach when they could get away with, you know, basically verbally abusing, running the hell out of these players. So he he know. But anyway, Alabama, man, they've been getting a lot of negative, negative attention, a lot of criticism. Also from me, all right, you, you get bringing a neg negative light to the program with this incident. With the, with the basketball shots or the imitation of sh shooting basketball on the field while the play is going on from the receivers, the coach is coming out defending it, Nick Sheridan, talking about whatever goes on the field, that's what they coach. Well, if you coach that, then that really shows the mentality of the team. But anyway, then you got uh, uh, Greg McElroy uh, calling out Ryan Williams, saying he whiffed on a block on uh, Alabama's last possession against Tennessee, the 4th and 22 play, you know, and I went back and watched that play, and yes, uh, like McElroy said, if Ryan Williams would have, when the whiffed on the block, the the the, the uh, running back who caught the ball out the backfield could have cut it to the outside and maybe scored. If he wouldn't have scored, he'd have picked up a, a hell of a lot of the yards, probably putting Alabama in field goal range. But hey, and guess what? Ryan Williams didn't whiff on the play. He just didn't block at all. But had he to block, we probably would have got in field goal range if we wouldn't have scored on that play. But, hey, that's neither here nor there. So you're getting called out about that, all right? Then uh, you remember the Malachi Moore situation? Uh, shit, right before the play with Ryan Williams, the Kendrick Law situation. I mean, <laughs> come on, man. It's, it, it, and, and then you got all of that. Piled on top of bad coaching, bad play calling, not being held accountable, lack of leadership from the coaches and the players, all of that. So, yes, Alabama is, uh, <laughs> they're being looked at with a fine tooth comb right now. A lot of negativity aimed toward the program. Why? Because they bring it, bringing it upon themselves. Okay. Uh, so, hey, it is what it is. And then even on the, well, it is what it is. But talking about Damian Harris and his comments about this situation, I found this article on Bama 247, which is titled, Alabama Stafford Entering Tennessee Game with Sugar was symbolic of the mentality of Tide, former player says. Former Alabama running back Damian Harris questioned Josh Chapman walking into Neyland Stadium with a cigar in his mouth. Well, I tell you what, seems like Josh Heupel and those Tennessee volunteers say, hey, you walking in in my stadium with a cigar in your mouth, you definitely won't walk out with it in your mouth because guess what? You come in disrespecting Tennessee, Josh Chapman. Well, Tennessee, they took their respect. I tell you that right now. But uh, these are the words that Damian Harris had to say. He had, he had a lot to say too. But anyway, he says – uh. That just really threw me for a loop. You know why? Because I know who that was. And those were people who were there when Saban was there. Or who played for Saban. Uh, 
we're just totally throwing everything that made Alabama what it was out the window. And, and I feel like that is true. Uh, we got coaches walking into the game smoking cigars prematurely. Now, I'm sure that's going to be a meme for God knows how long. I mean, we're just, what do we talk about? What does Saban talk about? About the rat pausing and feeding into the media and the narratives. We used to, he used to tell us all the time, you guys act like the team you're playing is the greatest team in the world. You respect them. You show up and you play the game the right way. And I agree. It's like everything that made Bama Bama. This, this coaching staff and team is just throwing it out the window. Damian Harris goes on to say, well, smoking cigars in this stadium, just walking in off the bus. That's not that. To me, that shows the entire mentality. That's symbolic of the mentality of Alabama football team right now, of the Alabama football team right now. And the results are what they are because of things like that. And I agree. I agree. If the coach is doing it, if the coach is or showing a lack of respect for the other team, what do you think the players going to do? If the coaches are not holding the players accountable, what do you think is going to happen? What kind of results do you think you're going to get? Was Kendrick Law held accountable for, for the uh, lack of, I'm going to say the lack of discipline and maturity that he showed by putting Alabama in a fourth and 22 or putting the team in a fourth and 22 situation with the game on the line? Was he held accountable for that? Remains to be seen. Was, was Ryan Williams held accountable for not blocking on the play? Was he held accountable for that? Was those two players held accountable, Ryan Williams and Jeremy Bernard, for their, for their, uh, Basketball shenanigans on the field? Was they held accountable for that? Well, the answers that these coaches give to the media, that will lead anybody to think that, no, they are not being held accountable for that. So, hey, it is what it is. But anyway, Damian Harris goes on to say, this is a very undisciplined, uncharacteristic, complacent, not hungry team. <laughs> Damn. Uh, I really think that that what what it all boils down to. You talk about the penalty yardage. I'm not going to beat a dead horse because you know what? This is what it is. This is the reality of it. And we're just going to have to call it for what it is. The penalty at the end of the game that turns a fourth and seven into a fourth and 22. What did I say after the Malachi Moore situation? If you don't handle this, if you don't approach this the right way, you set the president that this kind of behavior is acceptable. There it is. He damn sure said that. Like I said at the beginning of the video, he was really critical of the Malachi Moore situation. He goes on to say, so what do you get in the biggest moment of the season? And a guy gets a pass broken up. Somebody's chirping in your ear. That's part of the game. And what do you do? You lose your cool and you cost the team 15 yards, you cost the team a 15 yard penalty and a potentially a chance to win the game. Like, what are we doing? Where is the leadership? Jalen Miro is the quarterback. Kalen DeBoer is the head coach. But where is the leadership? And we've been asking that. Where is the leadership? Where is the leadership from these team captains? All right. They say. I read that, that Tyler Booker is taking on that role now. Well, you should have been doing that. You should have been doing that. Saying Tyler Booker, saying either you get it right or get your ass off the field. Should have been doing that. Don't wait till basically it's too late or a crunch time to be a leader. Should have been a leader the whole damn season. Y'all came into the season talking about leadership, holding each other accountable. What happened? What happened? That's just me, but I agree with everything that Damian Harris 
say it in in this uh in this situation. Everything, everything. Respect your opponent. You should have learned that after the Vanderbilt game. But no, they like we've been saying. These players are taking on the identity of the coaches. And for Josh Chapman, Josh Chapman, to do what he did by walking in Neyland Stadium with a cigar in his mouth, fresh off the bus, you know he know better because he came up on the Nick Saban. I know we keep comparing this team to Nick Saban's teams or, or this wouldn't happen if Nick Saban was there. Well, that's all we got to go off right now because Caleb DeBoer followed up Nick Saban. This staff followed up Nick Saban's staff. And for a coach who was, well, for a player who, who, who was a player for Nick Saban or a coach who coached under Nick Saban to allow this kind of behavior from these players is unacceptable. But seems like the former coaches that coached under Nick Saban or played under Nick Saban, they also taking on the identity of the new coaches that came in. Totally unacceptable. You ain't going to get things done that way. So, hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. But it ain't what we, us Alabama fans, want it to be. It ain't. Because we, I know these coaches want to see these players succeed just like we do. But in my opinion, in a lot of other people's opinion, they going about it the wrong way. And I was, I was, uh, who was that? Alabama football with Kyle Henderson. Last week, a caller called into his show. And I agree with everything this caller said. I think this caller called himself D. And he was very upset. And he was going off. He was pissed. And he was so right when he said, when Coach Kalen DeBoer got hired, why, why ain't he replicating everything that Nick Saban did? Nick Saban made turn this team or Alabama football into a six-time national champion. Six times in 15 years. Why wouldn't the next head coach go in and, and duplicate everything Nick Saban did? Why not? It, it, it's, it's obvious it worked. Hell, it's working in Athens right now. Athens, Georgia, it's working. You see what Kirby Smart did? Everything Nick Saban did, he's duplicating it at Georgia. And you see what's going on over there. So, Coach Kalen DeBoer, why wouldn't you do the same thing? And, yes, I agree with that call, what that caller said. Y'all go back and watch it. I think it was last Friday. Maybe Monday. I think it was Monday when he called in to uh, Alabama football with Kyle Henderson. Go look at it. Go listen to the call. He was so right about everything he said. So, yeah, man, matter of fact, y'all go to, if you ain't subscribed to Kyle Henderson, go subscribe to Kyle Henderson. He put out great Alabama content mostly every day. Mostly every day he's, he's, he's got some Alabama content for you. So, y'all go listen to Kyle Henderson and, hey, it is a great channel. But, man, it's so many, so many Alabama fans, so many former Alabama players and coaches that's furious right now. With the way this Alabama team is uh, conducting themselves. We'll just say that. All right. But I'm going to just leave it at that. And like I say, I agree with Kyle Henderson. Not Kyle Henderson. I agree with Damian Harris on every word he smoked. Well, every word he spoke. This is not the Alabama football that we done grown accustomed to. This is like, like he said. Everything that Nick Saban stood for has gone out the window. The discipline is gone. Players and coaches. Accountability is gone. Players and coaches. Bama standing up that Nick Saban set, gone. It's like we're going to come in and we're going to tear this thing down and start from scratch. Seem like that's what it is. Seem like that's what they're doing. They turn it down and they want to start from scratch. Make make it their own. And they doing a damn good job of it. 
instead of just coming in, duplicating what Nick Saban was doing. Because it proves, it's, it's been proven that it'll work. But hey, it is what it is. Like I said, I agree with every word Damian Harris spoke. And uh, I'm going to leave it at that. But y'all remember to be blessed. And KB don't give a piss about nothing but the tide. And roll. Damn tide.